How many of you ask yourself, how do I come up with 400 to 450 words to finish a short story? Or you are in the middle of writing a short story and you are struggling to find words to satisfy the word limit. Luckily, one of the solutions to this problem will be broken down for you in this video. In this lesson, we will develop a short story by using Exploding the Moment. Okay, work with me. Describe what you see to the person next to you or in your notes. Now, describe what you see using all your senses set to hypersensitivity, meaning that you have a heightened sense of sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. You can see every detail, smell things in the ear. Your touch is so sensitive that you can feel everything, even taste something in the ear and hear every sound, including the beat of your own heart and those around you. Now, look at the picture again and describe what your senses sense when they are set to hypersensitivity mode. Exploding a moment in time is writing in slow motion. Think of a movie or action scene where slow motion was used to dramatize the event. That drama is what exploding a moment creates in writing. Maybe something exciting is about to happen or is happening. Describe every detail you can think of that will make the moment come alive. For example, here is a writer exploding a moment before a character jumps off a high dive for the first time. Notice how his careful observation creates a sense of suspense. My hand trembled as I touched the cold metal of the ladder. I looked up. It seemed the ladder would never end. I raised my left foot and it touched the first rung. The step shifted and squeaked under my weight. I shifted my right foot and set it down next to the first. Together, they slowly warmed the metal platform underneath them. I shivered at the thought of what I was about to do. I raised my left foot and began the long, slow climb, one cold, squeaky step after another. Finally, at the top. I looked out at the vast expanse of water in front of me. Carefully, I inched my feet forward towards the bumpy road of fiberglass. Reaching the end of the board, I thought about the fact that I was 15 feet above the surface of the water and I must be crazy. I decided I had to do it. Gently, I started to bounce a little, just letting the board vibrate under my feet. Soon, my feet began to leave the bumpy surface of fiberglass for a fraction of a second. Each time, I sprang my knees. With each bounce, the distance grew greater and the board pushed up underneath my feet. Suddenly, I was in flight and at the apex of my jump, I thrust my body out away from the board. My eyes were squeezed shut and I wondered when I would hit the water. The wind was hitting my face and then suddenly it was the clean coolness of the water. It washed over my body as I glided through the depth and started gracefully back up towards the sparkling surface. With a shout of triumph, I broke out of the water ready to test myself again.
How was that? You can explore moments in your stories by including figurative language, imagery, and or the show don't tell writing method. Figurative language. You should know that these are words or phrases that describe one thing in terms of another and is not meant to be understood at the literal level. Literal meaning factual, where you mean exactly what you say. For example, I let the cat out of the bag literally means someone let a cat out of a bag. However, I let the cat out of the bag figuratively means that I told a secret that I should not have. In reviewing the main types of figurative language, simile, metaphor, and personification will come up. A simile is a comparison between two unlike things using the words like or as. For example, your eyes are like the stars. Metaphor is a comparison between two unlike things not using words like or as. For example, your eyes are stars. And personification is when an author gives a non-human item human traits or qualities. For example, my computer hates me. Exploding a moment with a simile may look something like this. Here is a moment. I saw the other car speeding towards my passenger side door and I screamed. After I finally caught my breath, I managed to stumble out of the vehicle. Exploding the moment. After I saw the other car speeding towards my passenger side door, a scream shot out of my mouth like a speeding bullet from a gun. After I finally caught my breath, I managed to stumble out of my car like a newborn giraffe learning to stand for the first time. As you may remember, imagery appeals to the five senses. Sight, sound, touch, smell, taste. These help the readers to see and feel what is going on in a story and give the reader the impression that they are in the middle of the action. Here is a look at the exact moment from earlier exploded with the use of imagery. Before I could blink, the screeching tires from the approaching car turned into sound of metal grinding against metal. My window busted out and my arms immediately began to sting as small sharp glass cut tiny incisions into my pale skin. I quickly came face to face with my rough vinyl airbag an encounter I won't ever again wish to have. After our cars made initial contact, we continued to slide down the road until we came to a sudden halt as we smashed into a black Toyota Primo. Suddenly, the inside of my car began to fill with dust and smoke. The disgusting taste invaded my mouth and made it difficult to breathe. This was my cue to pull it together and hightailed it out of my car. As I stepped into the street, the smell of burning rubber invaded my nose. It is a smell that still to this day brings back this memory. And lastly, let's use the show don't tell method to explore a moment. Showing in our stories means developing the events using realistic details your readers can identify with. This is where you write using specifics, strong nouns, precise verbs, actions we can see and hear, and reactions we can feel. For example, here's a moment. We were packed in the bus like sardines. It had to make a stop for air, making me even later. Explosion.
We were packed in the bus like sardines. It had to make a stop for air, making me even later. My face pressed against a man's back and I could feel arms and shoulders shifting against me, nudging me to make space. I started getting nervous, the air ticking and grew foul, a smell of bodies, hairspray, and musty clothes surrounded me. I wanted to scream. People around me began to sigh and make glottal noises expressing their discomfort. One woman said, oh God, I don't think I can take any more of this. Heads turned and looked at her, and at that moment, the bus rocked. It finally began to move. The examples of exploding the moment covered in this lesson are figurative language, imagery, and or the use of the show, don't tell writing method. Until we meet again, and if the means allow, rewatch, like, and share the video.